Well, hey there, everybody. Uh, Chris Dieterle tuning in here from uh, lovely Keefe, North Dakota, where it's a beautiful 30 degrees outside this evening. That's Fahrenheit for you people out of the U.S. And uh, just going to show you a quick little trick that uh, an old IH mechanic taught us, uh, us as in me and my brothers back in the day. I uh, learned this trick about 10 years ago, and it's about priming up your steering and brakes, your uh, your MCV pump. Um, pretty quick and easy uh, deal once you make up the hose, but uh, maybe save you guys some headaches in the future. Uh, this tractor here is uh, slowly being built into a puller. It's a 706 German diesel rear end. Uh, we got a set of 66 series frame rails on it and a 466 out of a late 1480 combine and uh, When I got this rear end I uh, come from a salvage yard and until I got the motor bolted up to it uh, This rear end had probably sat for two maybe three years without being uh, touched so when I got the tractor put together somewhat and got it started for the first time, uh, of course I had no steering brakes, um, no TA, any of that kind of stuff. So what you're going to want to do, first off, probably go get a hose made up. Um, if you take this plug out of the bottom of the MCV valve, it's an O-ring boss thread. Uh, take it into your local shop and get a hose made up. This one's a 90 degree uh, swivel. Uh, made it that way because uh, that way if it has to stay on the tractor and you're doing uh, maybe raking hay or something like that it's not gonna stick down so far and get hooked on stuff but anyways you're gonna want to hook that hose up right there and then on the other end you're gonna want to plumb it into your rear remotes and uh, basically we just got a uh, half inch pipe thread onto a uh, pioneer coupler here and it's plugged right into the remote. Now, in theory, what you're doing here is you're using your main hydraulic pump, which usually has hydraulic oil, or uh, hydraulic pressure, however you want to say it, and you're going to use that pump to prime up your MCV pump. So start the tractor, uh, engage whatever hydraulic to get oil to flow out of this hose, and the oil's going to flow around and go into the bottom of that valve, and it's going to prime up that pump. Uh, sometimes it only takes a few seconds to get it primed up. You'll feel it in the steering wheel as soon as it does. Um, sometimes it takes a couple minutes. Uh, we got quite a few 806s down at the farm. And the one in the winter time, if you want to use that thing, it doesn't matter. Every day you have to prime it. It, it loses its prime to that MCV pump. Now that old timer uh, told me the reason some of them tractors do that. Uh, we've completely resealed the MCV valve, new pump, the whole nine yards. He said that you can actually develop cracks in the casting in colder climates due to thicker oil. And those hairline cracks will suck air sometimes in the winter time. That's why you lose your prime. So um, that's what I did on this tractor, hooked that hose up. You can leave it on there for an extended period of time. It's not going to hurt anything. As soon as you get it primed up, just release your hydraulic lever, put your remote back in neutral, and everything should work. Um, this 1066 that I got right here, the gentleman thought the rear end was shot. He couldn't get it to move. Said he was out making hay with it one day, baling hay, and uh, came out the next day, started up, wouldn't move. Well, I bought this tractor for $700, got it home, put the hose on it, primed it up, and that's all that was wrong with it. I took the hose off, and I've been using it uh, ever since, off and on, and I've had it for about four years now, and it's never gave me any problems. So just thought I'd share that little tip from uh, for you. I'm hoping that uh, eventually I can get it so I don't need the hose on here. And, of course, this tractor's got a long ways to go before she's a puller. For one, the... Uh, Two and a half gallon fuel tank on the side of it here. Probably ain't uh, NTPA approved along with multiple other things that you see here. So just a little uh, trick I thought I'd share with you. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to ask. Hopefully that helps you out. And yes, I know my Quonset is a disaster. You all have a good evening.